Hey guys, my name is Bob. Welcome to the Excel Math channel. Today I'm going to talk about uh, tackling a McLaurin series questions that involve a repeated implicit differentiation. All right, so what uh, it actually entails is that let's say for example I give you a function. Okay, so that's y is equals to in this case tangent two x minus pi over four. Then what you have to do is to based on the implicit uh, differentiation. Uh, to find out what is your dy dx, your d2y over dx squared, your d3y over dx squared, as well as your d4y over dx4. And then, um, after that, find the McLaurin's expansion for the tangent or for that particular function of x. Or so, uh, y is equal to, in this case, y is equal to tangent 2x minus pi over 4 up to including the term x, over x to the power of 4. Alright, so in this question itself, there are three parts. Uh, the first part will be given that y is equal to tangent 2x minus pi over 4. They ask you to show that dy over dx is equal to 2 bracket 1 plus y squared. Part 2, by repeating the differentiation of the result, show that 4y over dx4 is equal to 4 bracket y d3y over dx cubed plus 3 dy dx d2y over dx squared. And last but not least, the question asks you to find a McLaurin expansion for the tangent 2x minus pi over 4 up to and including the term x to the power of 4. And I'm going to go through each of the parts uh, in detail and to get you to understand more about how to actually tackle this kind of question. So here we go and we shall begin with the first part. Well, the first part says that given that y is equal to tangent 2x pi minus pi over 4, they ask you to show that dy dx is equal to 2 bracket 1 plus y squared. Alright, um, so first thing first, let me just write down how to actually tackle this. Oops, uh, okay, how to get tackle, tackle this question. So y is equal to tangent um, 2x minus pi over 4. So we do a dy dx and see what happens, alright, down here. So when we do a dy dx, uh, we know that first thing because this is a tree goal, right? So we differentiate the tree goal first. Uh, so that will be 2 sequence square, okay? 2x minus pi over 4. And of course, we differentiate the inner portion, which is 2x minus pi over 4. Okay, so we differentiate the inner portion 2x minus pi over 4. So this gives me 2. Okay, so what we have here is 2 sequence square um, 2x minus pi over 4. Um, so the next thing we do is that we change this sequence square this, uh, to 1 plus tangent square um, 2x minus pi over 4. Why do we do so? Is because we want to get okay this expression. All right, so we can substitute. We know that y is equal to tangent uh, 2x minus pi over 4. So which means that y square okay is equal to uh, just the square of the trigo. So that would be tangent square 2x minus pi over 4. And so this is this is just basically um, y square. So now we go, we have already proved the first part. It's just equals to 2 bracket 1 over y square. And that is your part 1 of the answer. Let us move on to part 2. And here we go. Okay, by repeated differentiation show that uh, the 4y over the x4 is equal to 4 bracket y dq3 y over the x3 plus 3 dy dx d2y over the x squared. So previously from part 1 we know that dy dx is just um, equals to 2 bracket 1 plus y squared. And what we need to do is to find out what is the d2y over the x squared. So the d2y over the x squared is just basically um, 2 brackets. Okay, so we would when we differentiate the constant, it becomes zero. But when we differentiate this y square, all right, with respect to x itself, it becomes we bring down the we do the differentiation first. So in this case, it's two y, and then we always put a dy dx behind. So every time when you do a different implicit differentiation that's involving y, we do the differentiation first, and then we uh, always put a dy dx behind. So in this case, that would be four y dy over dx. So that would be my equation of 3. So the next thing that we will do is to find what is my d3y over dx cube. So my d3y over dx cube is just, okay, um, it's just, this one is a product rule, all right? So we leave the constant behind first, we leave the constant just like this, and then we do the uh, product rule. So how do we do the product rule is that we do not differentiate dy dx, but we differentiate y. So when we differentiate y, it's just dy dx, and then we keep the dy dx all right, as it is, plus keep the y now, and we differentiate the dy dx. So when we differentiate the dy dx, that will be d2y over dx squared. And so this will becomes 
uh, dy dx square, okay, because dy dx times dy dx is dy dx square, plus y uh, back at d2y over dx square. All right. So a bit uh, a things to take note is that uh, dy dx square and d2y dx squared, they are two different things. All right, so they are two different terms, so don't get confused, okay, with regards to the term itself. Okay, so let us label this as uh, equation number four, and then we will go on to do my d4y over dx cubed. Sorry, d4y over dx4. <clears throat> so d4y over dx4, first thing, first we have to look at this equation, all right? So first thing first, we just put a constant in front as it is, all right? And then we tackle this term, all right? So how do we tackle this term? All right, how do we differentiate this term? So basically what we do is that we bring down the power first. We do the normal differentiation first, all right? So that we 2 dy dx, and then we differentiate the dy dx, all right? So when we differentiate the dy dx, it's just d2y over dx squared. And for this part, this term itself, basically we need to do a product rule again. So how do we do the product rule? We do not differentiate the d2y dx squared, but we differentiate the y. So when you differentiate y, it's, it's just dy over dx. And this one will just be d2y over dx squared, plus we do not differentiate the y, but we differentiate this d3y, uh, d2y over dx squared. So when we differentiate the d2y over dx squared, that will be d3y over dx cubed. Okay. So we know that this term and this term pretty much look similar, so we can combine it together. So that would be um, 3 plus, sorry, 3 dy dx and uh, d2y over dx squared plus y d3y over dx cubed, as shown in the second, uh, in, the, in the question itself, okay? As shown in the questions down here. <clears throat> Alright, so uh, now we know that by doing the repeated differentiation, we can show that uh, d4y over dx squared is equals to 4 uh, bracket y d3y over dx cubed plus 3 dy dx d2y over dx squared. Um, let's move on to the last part whereby we are going to find out the Maclaurin series or the Maclaurin expansion for tangent 2x minus pi over 4. Okay, before we go on to find out what is the Maclaurin expansion for tangent 2x minus pi over 4, first thing we need to sub in every single uh, x value x0 to find out what is my y, dy dx, d2y dx squared, d3y over dx cubed, and d4y over dx4. <clears throat> okay, so basically what I would do is that I will sub in when x is equal to 0. Alright, so when x is equal to 0, so let's, so this whole thing will become 0. So this then this so that is equal to tangent uh, negative pi over four. Okay, right, so tangent negative pi over four is just basically minus one if we were to key into the calculator. So y is equal to negative one. So when y equals to negative one, my dy dx is just four. Okay, because that is equal to two plus two one plus negative one square. Okay, and this is equal to two two. So that is four. So now we know that my y is negative one. Okay, and then my dy dx is 4. So let's just tackle d2y over dx squared. So d2y over dx squared is just 4y dy dx. Alright, so 4y dy dx, what would it be? Uh, okay, let me just erase it. Okay, so uh, 4y. So y, we know that y is equal to negative 1, and then dy dx is 4. So that will be, in this case, will be negative 16. So now we know that d2y over um, you know, d2y over dx cubed, d2y over dx squared is actually negative, negative 16. Okay, so how do we go about finding the d3y over um, dx cubed? Well, so it's the same thing again, it's, it's, it's not difficult, all right? So first thing we need to take note, my dy dx is what? So we know that my dy dx is 4, so we have to sub this uh, dy dx as 4, so let me just uh, put a 4 down here, so this will be 4. And then uh, d2y over dx squared, we know that this uh, is a negative 16, all right? Uh, y is a negative 1, so, uh, so y is negative 1, d2y over dx squared is negative 16. So when we combine together, what do we get? We have um, a very special number down here. Wow, it's, it's, it's quite big actually. So we know that this, this uh, 4 squared is 16. 
okay and then um, this is also 16 so 32 times 4 gives you 128 so um, the 3 y over the xq is actually 128 okay and last but not least okay down here to find the d4 y over the x4 so we just sub in the relevant values we know that dy dx is 4 the 2y over the x squared is negative 16 uh, plus y is negative 1 the 3y over the x cubed is 1 2 8 so to calculate this uh, the first term will be 9 minus 48 let me just do a quick mental sum not exactly mental but we do a very basic like this so it's 192 okay minus 128 uh, so that will be 4 uh, what is this <laughs> uh, 64 is it yeah it seems like it's 64 to me is it 64 64 all right oops uh, i forgot this uh, negative sign down here so it will be a bit different right now so that will be uh 192 plus 128 0 1 2 3 2 0 so 4 times negative 3 2 0 so that will give you negative 1 2 8 0 so now we know that dy the 4y over the x4 is negative 1, 2, 8, 0. All right, and then we will proceed on to actually calculate what is my McLaurin series for y is equal to tangent to um, 2x minus pi over 4. And then the last part for this uh, question itself, we want to find the McLaurin expansion of y is equal to tangent 2x minus pi over 4. We are given, or we have calculated that y is equal to negative 1, dy dx is equal to 4, the 2y over the x squared is equal to negative 16. The 3y over the x cubed is equal to 128. And uh, the 4y over the x4 is equal to negative 1280. So based on the McLaurin series formula down in the down in the page or down in the slides below, we try to find out why is the McLaurin expansion of uh, y is equal to tangent 2x minus 4, uh, pi over 4. So that was equal to so we know that f0 so that is equal to negative 1 okay and then plus so x f prime 0 so we know that f prime 0 is 4 so it's just 4x okay plus x squared over 2 so we write down x squared over 2 pi sorry 2 factorial f double prime 0 so that means differentiate that twice we know that this is negative 16 okay plus we write down x cubed over 3 factorial uh, f triple prime zero so in this case it's 128 okay plus um, x to the power of 4 over 4 factorial uh, f 4 primes of zero <laughs> so that would be negative 1280 all right so after that this is negative 1 plus 4x so we simplify this that will be minus 8x squared this one is just 6 right yep 6 uh, so we have 64 over sort of like 3 x cubed. <laughs> How do we do that? It's just because this is um, this 3 factorial is 3 times 2. And then we cancel and cancel and this is 64. So it becomes 64 over 3 cubed. And last but not least, the last part, this 4 factorial. All right, 4 factorial is actually 4 times uh, 3 times 2 times so on. So that is 24. And then we know that if we were to... Um, do a cancellation because this can be divided by 8 all right the device by 8 that will gives you 160 all right so this will be negative 160 over 3 extra power 4 don't forget the plus dot 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 because there are so many other terms but it's just that it is insignificant all right so basically the McCloric expansion of for this question or of y is equal to tangent 2x minus pi over 4 is equal to negative 1 plus 4x plus minus 8x squared plus 64 over 3x cubed minus 160 over 3x to the power 4. And uh, that's it uh, for this uh, questions uh, for one of the examples of the McLaurin series that involves implicit differentiation. I'm Bob. Hope you guys understand how to actually tackle uh, a McLaurin series that involves repeated implicit differentiation. If you have any questions, do comment in the comment section below. And I will see you guys uh, in the next video. Alright, goodbye.